As a matter of fact, the increase in the age group of 20 through 29 year olds from here compared to early June is up 250 percent. 250 percent in individuals aged 20 through 29 and, and this should to all of us and it is very concerning. So I want to reassure Virginians we are not seeing spikes like Florida or Texas. Florida had more than 15,000 new cases in one day. We had fewer than 1,000. But we don't live in a vacuum. We border five other states and the District of Columbia. Hampton Roads is a big tourist hub for the East Coast. If we don't take this seriously now, we could see bigger increases across our Commonwealth. That's why we're taking action today to head this off. I've asked the local health team in Hampton Roads for their recommendations and I'm reviewing them. But it's clear that step one is stronger enforcement of the existing regulations because, quite frankly, of the noncompliance. Our health commissioner, Dr. Norm Oliver, today is sending a letter to the health district directors reminding them of their authority to enforce face covering rules and regulations on physical distancing in restaurants and places where people gather. I'm also directing teams made up of members from the health departments, the Virginia ABC, the Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services, and other licensing agencies to conduct unannounced visits to establishments as needed. The Virginia Department of Health is deploying 100 people to ramp up enforcement. And this will happen across the state, but it will be especially focused in the Hampton Roads area. If you own a restaurant or a business and you're not following the regulations, your license will be on the line and we will not hesitate to take action if needed. I'm also calling on businesses to step up their own enforcement. If a patron of your establishment is violating the rules, you have the ability to say no. It's just like the signs in so many store windows that say no shirt, no shoes, no service. Now it should be no shirt, no shoes, no mask, no service. Remember that you don't have to serve a patron who's not wearing a face covering. You can tell them to leave, and if they don't, they're trespassing, and you can, in turn, call the police. Third, I'm writing to the mayors of our beach communities asking for a full update on the beach access plans that they put forth in May. Those were detailed plans involving a number of sanitation and mitigation measures, and I want to be sure those mayors are following through on their promises. And I've directed the Virginia ABC to develop a plan to impose an earlier cutoff for alcohol sales at restaurants. We'll announce more details on that soon. I want to be clear. This is not the end of the actions we may take, but the beginning. I am considering other actions as needed, such as reduction in the size of gatherings. I want to make it clear that these enforcement actions are to stop the people who are clearly flouting the rules. You are being selfish and you are hurting everyone who is doing the right thing to help us all beat this virus. I want to be clear, it's going to take everyone, everyone working together to do this. This is not political. This is about our health and well-being and it's also about our economy. It's going to take all of us to move forward safely. 